What's up guys, how are you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech and welcome back to the channel where today you can join us in and we are going to be visiting the Pleasure Beach. So yes, we are going to be hitting up all the big roller coasters such as the big one there. Unfortunately, the weather isn't looking too great, is it? It's a bit, uh, yeah, a bit moody, but not to worry. We're uh, still going to have fun nonetheless. And uh, we have got something very special to look at in the park today. Um, something to celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers on the channel. And hopefully we'll share that with you later on. But anyway, we're running a bit late, so let's head on into the park and uh, yeah, get through the gates. Now I've got a top tip for you. If you are looking to park near the Pleasure Beach, and that is just as simply park out on the road here get in nice and early park out on the road it is far cheaper than paying the prices that the pleasure beach actually charge for their own parking and uh yeah it's not very far at all the entrance is literally just down there you know about a two or three minute walk and save yourself a small fortune so for 10 hours parking it's cost me just 10 quid which i don't think is too bad at just one pound an hour so here we are at the entrance which is actually sort of round the side isn't it it's a bit yeah. different to the other entrance that they open up later in the day so yeah this is their own parking and uh, like i said i wouldn't bother using that really it's all right if you want it really secure but to be honest i've never had any problems out on the seafront either right so uh looks like we actually got a walk through this shop to uh get to the main gates which bit different than that going for this way well last time I came here this was sort of like the uh where you buy tickets and you know, sort of customer service yeah. but now it's uh yeah big shop it was quite nice though doesn't it with our merch and whatnot in there right so let's head on through this way and uh go through security right top Right, so we've got all security scanners in here and that, you get your bag searched and whatnot. And now, yeah, we are inside the park and we're looking to go on the, the first ride, but there's nothing open at the moment, is there? Now, what we have paid for is uh, the speedy passes, which allow us to uh, basically jump the queues a little bit. Now, they're, what's it, 50 quid each? Yeah. And uh, to be fair, I think they're pretty good value at 50 quid. Now, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a lot of money to pay out when you've got a few of you, you know, there's four of us here, but we've travelled a long way, so we want to get the most out of the day. And uh, the way that they work, you book up a ride that you want to go on, and it knocks off, I think it's 90% of the queue time. So, you say you want to go on, let's say, Icon down here, and uh, let's say it's an hour wait, so 60 minutes. So you'd be taking it down to about a six minute wait, which, you know, is a substantial amount of time off. The big rides at the moment aren't opening. They are currently testing, as you can see, like that one just there. So uh, what we're gonna do is go on something a little bit smaller. We're gonna show you this uh, speedy pass now. So we're gonna go on Nickelodeon Street. It's zero minutes anyway, so we click on that. It basically tells you when you can head over to the ride because it's a zero minute wait anyway. We can go straight over and straight on. So this is gonna be the first ride that we go on. Little kids ride, but to be fair, for a small ride, it's pretty intense, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, quite shocking how good it actually is. So uh, yeah, don't be put off by the area that it's in. I'd head it up. I think we've got to go the wrong way through the queue line here. Is it speedy past that side, is it? Uh, no, no, just get on the uh, inside. Ah, right. Right, so that's a bit of a nightmare, wasn't it? I'm going to battle through uh, all the crowds going the wrong way. I was looking at us like we've got two heads, but no, you've got to come through uh, essentially the exit on the outside just down there and then up these steps and into the uh, speedy pass entrance. So that's Nickelodeon streak out of the way. What do you think of that? Good, yeah. 
it is a good little ride, yeah. isn't it? I think that's a great ride, you know, if you're just sort of getting into roller coasters and that. It's not too tame, but it's not too full on either. It gets a pretty good air time, isn't it? But it's a little bit rough at the same time, isn't it? So yeah, just be warned. So next ride, what are we hitting up, Gem? Icon, one of our favourites here. And it's, uh, I think it's the newest roller coaster here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back on it. And it's just over this way. So uh, it's got a walk down the side here. Bit of a maze. I've been coming here a few years and I still end up getting a bit lost of where we're going because it's really compact, isn't it, this part? It's in like, all the roller coasters sort of intertwine with each other and that so it can be a little bit confusing which uh we did make the mistake once if we thought we were actually going on the uh the big one and we got all excited never been on it and then we're sat on the actual roller coaster and we're going up the lift hill and i'm like mm, something came right here and realize we're on the actual the big dipper not the big one bit of a difference wasn't it Jay? Yeah. so uh yeah me Made that mistake once, a bit embarrassing, but no, not to worry. So we're currently trying to find the speedy pass line, which normally is somewhere up the top there and you come down some steps, but we've been a bit lost, haven't we, yeah. trying to find it. Um, bit bad of black with Ledge Beach, really. No signage at all, but we've seemed to have just figured another way by basically following some other people. But if it wasn't seen where other people are going, which, there generally isn't normally that many people coming down this way. We would have had a right job finding this. It's sort of, you know, all buried down underneath the rides and all that. And like I say, the way you used to come down was down those steps there, but there's all scaffolding up there and that. And there's nothing there to say that you've got to go a different way around. So yeah, a bit naughtier than that. Also, Gemma, it's the same on that Nickelodeon Street, wasn't it? There was nothing to say where you go for the uh, speedy pass. And uh, it's only because we've been there before that we figured out. So here we go then. So entrance, speedy pass. And actually, it's uh, quite a big queue for speedy pass. Huh? I'm uh, pretty surprised at that. So this is where you'd normally walk through if you're queuing up in the general sort of queue. But obviously, we've just skipped down from that uh, entrance uh, going this way. Then we scan our tickets just here and then hopefully on the right. So these are the sort of restraints that you get on this ride. So you just pull them down like so. So nothing going over your actual shoulders at all there. And it does make you feel like you're actually going to be coming out of your seat on some parts of this ride, especially where when you get down to this first sort of uh, incline, it does make you feel like you're going to get thrown out. It's pretty good. So the gates have just opened for the ride, but we're not actually going through because this actual train has a very special seat. Now, uh, this is called Enzo, and this is actually a spinning seat. And to go on this, you actually have to pay extra. How much extra is it? Is it 15 quid? 10, 10 or 15. And uh, me and my daughter went on that last year. And what did you think of it last time? Yeah, it wasn't too bad, but it didn't spin as much as we would have liked, did it? it was, we said that it's probably best to go on individual. So yeah, if you ever fancy going on that, I'd recommend, even if you're coming with a mate, go on it on your own. It definitely spins a lot better. Right, so we just got off Icon and I'm not a happy chappy. So as you see, we queued up at the back and we had to wait longer because of that um, end zone seat. So we basically had to wait sort of twice. We got in the seat and the seats at the back are for uh, bigger people, which is good for me because as you can probably tell, I've got quite big shoulders and that. And um, we then got a couple of members of staff come up to us and said, uh, sorry, we're gonna ask you to move because it was, uh, let's just say, a large lady that couldn't fit in the other seat. So we got moved, 
I then had to sit in a seat, which yes, I could get in, but then my shoulders didn't very well. So it meant the whole ride, I was going around with my shoulders rubbing, which was really uncomfortable, which I thought was wrong. What they should have done is told her to stand to one side, maybe wait for the next train and not be moving people around. I thought that was a little bit out of order. So yeah, that's annoyed me a bit as well with the um, things with not, you know, great signage not going so great so far is it so uh yeah hopefully it will improve right what we're we going on next end gem big one which is the big one here funny enough so let's book that up what are we looking at two minutes two minutes go on in click on that and there we go two minutes and by the time we've walked round to there that'd be that time so as you can see You've got this uh, big queue there, but no, what we do is go back through essentially the exit past the uh, ride photo shop up this way. And this is where you'll find the speedy pass entrance just there. And then up this direction. Well, Leon, if you want to go and grab the door then, buddy, you're going to go speedy pass. So you can see you've got it all queuing up there, up the ramp, but we ain't going to do that. Hopefully it's open. Is it open? Yeah, it is. I thought we were going to get you know, stitched up there and laughed at by everyone in the other group. So up these steps. And then into the station where you've got everyone else queuing up just there. And we'll have to show that. Once that's gone down to one minute, you can show it to the member of staff. Just waiting on that, just 50 odd seconds. And then we'll get scanned through there. Where are we going to go? Are we going to sit, Jen? Sit at the front or the back? Back. So yeah, at the back of the ride, just there. And if you want a really intense ride, that's where you want to sit. All right, so everyone's getting strapped in. So as you can probably see with this, it is a lap bar and a seat belt as well, just for a bit of added protection. just stepped off the big one. What's your thoughts on that? It was a bit, it was a bit like you. Yeah. yeah, so we were at the back, so back two rows, and i got to say, that is probably the roughest ride I've ever had on that. I don't know if it's the time of the day or something like that, but it's new sections of track as well. But even they felt a bit rough. I mean, like, some of the, like, jolts at the bottom, quite smart for us having, like, back broke. Uh, yeah, not the most pleasant experience I've ever had on that ride. But anyway, moving on. Next up, we are going to hit up Infusion. So this is quite a basic ride. Just get launched from there, down one loop, up, and then back through the loop, and then back up again. But it's uh, yeah, a bit of a weird one, this, because you've got to queue up on the steps. Because we're using the uh, speedy pass, we have to walk up this way which is essentially the exit and the problem is as we've got now you've got everyone coming down the stairs leaving the ride where you've got to then go up it so yeah it is a little bit awkward yeah RJ, we just wait a minute so we're going to wait for a few people to come down and uh, now we'll start heading on up right so you just walked up to the top got the general queue going along that way ride just there here we go speedy pass walk along this way and then show our ticket. So let me first start off by apologising that I actually called the ride the wrong name. I called the ride Confusion when it's actually a revolution. Good ride the nonetheless. Short and sweet, isn't it? Yeah. A bit harsh on the way back through the loop. Going forward isn't too bad, but as you come back through it, it seems to like really compress you down, doesn't it? It's pretty intense. But yeah, you know, if you're one 
that maybe doesn't like a prolonged roller coaster, maybe hit that with that. That ain't too bad. Right, so the next ride that we're going to be hitting up, and I'm getting the correct one this time, is Infusion this time, and it's this blue one here. And uh, what's your thoughts on this ride, Gemma? What do you think? A little bit rough. It's uh, very rough, I must admit. I like the ride, but yeah, rough as a badger's ass would be an understatement. That is infusion out of the way. Well, how did you like your beating? Well, it wasn't too bad, I just had to try and keep my head forward. Yeah? I, forward. Don't, I can't put it back, because it's smack to get the seat. Yeah, see, I put my head back. And it, actually, I don't think it was that bad doing it like that. But I was right in the front row, and that's got to be the best row to sit on for that ride because it's less intense. So, uh, where well, normally I want to go for the most intense sort of seat, not on that ride. No, I wouldn't want. I would not recommend sitting on the back on that one. You will get proper beaten up like that, especially if you're maybe smaller in size. You're going to rattle around because um, my shoulders being quite big. It feels awkward when you pull down the restraints on that thing. It's really, really weird. It feels like you're like sitting in it wrong. I don't know why. It's just something I've always felt with that ride. So yeah, if you are slightly bigger, it's a bit of a weird ride to go on. So next up, we have a laugh on a bit of Wallace and Bromwich. Sure. Chill out a bit. Okie dokie. So let's head on over there. So here we are at Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic. And uh, we've got a entrance there for Speedy Pass, general queue just down there. But we have queued up there before, have we not? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this bit coming up here, we've gone there before for just like, the general queue. Okie dokie just stepped off Wallace and Gromit. I think that's a really good ride, isn't it? Great for kids. Do you know one thing that always sticks in my head, or I always notice about it? Just how comfy the seats are, isn't it? They're really, really, really comfy. It's like sitting on like a yeah, like a cinema seat or something like that. So yeah, nice and comfortable, really smooth ride, highly recommend it. So now has come to the point of the video where I want to share with you something that I've been uh, keeping back about, something that I've done to celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers on the channel. Now we reached that milestone back in October of 2022 and uh, at the time of doing it I thought I'm going to mark the occasion with uh, something a little bit different. And here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach what they have got is these walls where you can pay to have a brick with writing put on them and I paid for a brick and we came along here earlier and where is my brick there we go the tech giant 100k subs 2022 if you come down to blackpool pleasure beach come along and take a look right so i think it's time that we got something to eat I'm gonna go somewhere in the park that i've never been before and uh we're heading over this direction but this is the ride that we're really looking forward to isn't it yeah. valhalla now this is a ride that me and Gemma. We know all about it, innit? We went on it. Well, it's a well, first time that, we, yeah, a long time ago, first time that we came to the park, we went on this ride and uh, it shut down not long afterwards, wasn't it? For like a big refurbishment and it's been going on for years and yeah, it's been really delayed. But this ride is a proper soaker. When I say soaker, I mean, it's like jumping in a swimming pool. It is that bad. So we're going to be going on that in a bit i say in a bit we're actually going to do it later in the day because it's that wet we're going to sort of do it get soaked and then leave the park but yeah we're going to go here for something to eat because apparently the food is really really nice and uh i think it's is it chicken like chicken and that that they do here like chicken sandwiches which we'll see in a minute so yeah hopefully uh that'll fill a gap right so just ordered our food and there is the menu just there and i've gone for the uh half roast chicken uh, with potatoes and gravy and it seems to be the same fries, yeah. fries and then you've gone for the kids chicken bites kids chicken bites with some gravy as well right so we've just come upstairs and hmm, this is different isn't it yes nice view out there of valhalla never knew all this was there to be honest did you I mean, it's a bit of like a, a hidden gem. Yeah, look at all this with the, uh, look at that. Nice, comfy seats. <laughs> I've never seen that before with you, Gemma. Take a quick walk down here. Get some nice views, as you can see. Over the park there, all comfy seating. Yeah, it's a bit of a 
bit of a hidden gem. Little over 18s only area there. You can have your booze and whatnot. Where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit by the window or should we have, a look? Should we have the big? We could have, have the big, uh, this tech giant area there. Look at that. That's my sort of seat and that is nice. Now look at that for a shot. How, how comfy are those seats with that? Yeah, uh, they're right. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, as I say, it's the back. So the, the bottom's all nice and soft, but yeah, the backs then are, are rock solid. It's got a bench here. So yeah, we got a uh, large coat. That was, I think, three quid for that. Uh, Pepsi Max. Unfortunately, no full sugar coke. What is it going on with the world? You're not allowed to have even sugar as an adult. You can't have, you know, go to a park and get a full sugar drink. Shocking. So, oh, I'll tell you what, I've just noticed. It's actually, looks like an outdoor bit. Let's go and check this out. So let's step outside here. Oh, yeah, Jim. Did you want to sit out here? Hey, look at this. So yeah, we've well, got like three sort of benches out there. Look at that, that's pretty mad. Bit of seating outside as well. Yeah, nice view of some of the rides. That shot tower there. But yeah, of course, the main thing that this uh, ties in with is Valhalla the ride. So yeah, I'd highly recommend coming here if you want to uh, have a quiet something to eat. What the food's like, I don't know, we'll find that out in a minute. But as you can see, it's like not many people even know about it. Zodi food has just arrived and I ordered half a chicken and I've got a whole chicken. Um, my son had half a chicken, but it's been given a whole chicken. Your order's correct and uh, double check with the staff. I thought, oh dear, like, have we made a mistake here? Have they, you know, charged us wrong? No, they charged us for half a chicken. I did order half a chicken each and uh, yeah, they've given us a whole chicken and they said, don't worry about it keep the whole chicken so we've got essentially a free whole chicken so but it, that does look really nice so we've got our gravy there a little pot of gravy so now that one's already open looks nice and thick tastes all right yeah and then these little baby potatoes look at them they look really nice so yeah i'm gonna dig in and uh fill my belly so my daughter was just saying how big the portion size is and to be fair yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you know, you've eaten a fair bit, but my son's still got it just there. Now that, I think, is a really good deal. £4.50. Now you've got to remember, this is like a captive audience. Generally, you know, theme parks charge, you know, quite a premium. So, yeah, £4.50. There's loads in there, to be fair. Gravy, that was a quid. Now, if we had have got the half chicken, that would have been £9. But the whole one is £12. And with that, that's with the potatoes. But yeah, I think that is a fair price, like I said, for a theme park. Now, when it comes to the actual flavor of this chicken, I'll tell you what, it is really, really nice. It's got some real nice sort of like coating on there, you know, like sort of herbs and stuff. And, oh yeah, that is well tasty. It's not too dry either. And this gravy, what do you think of the gravy? Yeah, spot on. So it's just to dip a little bit of that in there. Yeah, that hits the spot. I would highly recommend that. So yeah, if you come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, then I would highly recommend coming here. Now again, talking of portion sizes, I didn't actually realize how many potatoes there were. I just thought there was a few around the side, but no, lift up the chicken. And it's literally the whole tray full of potatoes. Honest to God, this is amazing value for the money. So that is dinner all finished. What did you think? Really nice, yeah. That, I've got to say. Yeah probably the best dinner or well any meal i'd say from a theme park or you know such like that i've ever had really really good quality on it absolutely loads of it good value for money as well i, I really can't fault any of it i mean as a rate my takeaway would say it's a solid 10. so just to remind you where it is you've got valhalla here it's just set off to the left it says loki's bar Apre Ski Bar Lokis. And also we noticed that they also have seating downstairs as well. So uh, yeah, plenty of seating, really quiet, great value for money, great food, can't knock it. Right, time to hit up the next ride. What are we doing next, Gemma? Ghost Train. Ghost Train. Now unfortunately no fast tracks for this, and it's always really popular. As you can see, 
Yeah, it's quiet day at the park, but it's still a fairly decent view for this. And uh, I believe it's the oldest ghost train in the world. It's actually all right. It's a bit cheesy, but still fun nonetheless. Right, so the next ride, I'm actually going to sit out for a minute so I want a bit of a rest. I'm not scared of it or anything like that, just can't be bothered at the moment, Rob. Just rest me legs for five minutes. But what is the ride that you're going to be going on? Ice, Ice Blast. And that is it, just here. So this is a shot tower, gets shot up and it sort of bobs up and down a few times before it comes back down. There they are, all ready to go. Right, so, what was that like? Good. Nice okay. good view, but not intense. So just a good view, yeah. but not an intense ride. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we've been on, on it together once, and yeah, it's exactly the same then. Looked all right, you know, you thought it was going to be intense, but no, a bit of a letdown, really, if I'm being totally honest. So now they've got that out of the way, I think we should take a little look in the gift shop. So let's uh, see what good things are in here. And they often sell stuff that's like off the old rides, isn't it? Like harnesses and things like that. In all fairness, the merch in here is pretty good, isn't it? Good quality stuff. We've had like cups and that from here before. Well, that's quite nice. How much is that? I think it's eight pounds. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Nice soft feel on that. So yeah, this is all for the new Valhalla ride. I say new, refurbished Valhalla. They're quite nice looking as well. Yeah, decent selection going on. Who doesn't like a bit of merch when they come away? So yeah, this is what I was talking about. These are all bits from rides. So uh, looks like that's a bit from, is that the big one? Yeah, big one. So a little bit of track that uh, they've, uh, you know, just chopped up into a section, put on a little wooden stand there like that. Yeah, I think that's different. I don't know if there's a... It's a wheel. 150 quid. Uh, I don't, I'd say that's quite expensive. What do you think? What would you think that's worth? I would have said sort of like 40 quid like that. Uh, maybe 40 pounds. 50 at the most. 150. Nah, that's a little bit too much if uh, we're being totally honest. Then we've got Dad? some uh, bits of wood. There we go. 25. And what's that from? That's the wild mouse. Nothing special that, I think that's something nicer. Oh yeah, a bit of signage there as well. Yeah, I like the way that they do this, you know, to some people it's a bit of tat sort of thing, but to others, you know, they like this sort of stuff, keep the memories going of like old rides and things like that. More wheels and stuff like that down there. Another wheel there, that's 40 quid on that. That's, yeah, that's not too bad on that. So yeah, I think it's nice that you can pick up any of these uh, sort of like cast offs, if you want to look at it like that. I know they've had, like restraints and seat belts before in the past. Oh, right, we've got a Valhalla little teddy there. How much is that? Um, 5.97. Oh, that's right, that's not too bad, is it? What's a tenner? Seems to be quite good for, uh, yeah, under six quid. Can't go wrong at all. T-shirts, hoodies, yeah, a bit of everything in there, to be fair. And then you've got your pin badges. Yeah, you can even uh, charge your phone up as well. You can hire one of these out and charge your phone up if your battery's going flat, because that is the problem with coming to parts these days, isn't it, Gem? So, like here, you've got to uh, use your phone, really, for the e-tickets that are on there to scan yourself into rides, which is a little bit weird, isn't it? Seeing that you're already in the park anyway, I don't understand that. I mean, like, again, with something like Alton Towers, Thor Park, you know, you, you've paid beforehand, you scan your ticket, you get in, that's it, you ain't got to do it for the rest of the day. But here, you've got to continually keep the scan in the ticket every time you go on a ride, which is a little bit weird. Now, we've just come out of the shop, and we notice that the queue for Valhalla is massive because not that long ago, it was shut down, wasn't it? We thought, oh, you know, we're gonna be out of luck. We've waited years for the ride to reopen. And uh, yeah, they shut it down. Didn't think it would be back up again. But yeah, looks like it is. Big queue waiting and we will be going on that by the end of the day. Gemma, what are you going on now? 
sky falls. Red arrows. So this is the one here. And it's a ride that I've never actually been on. Maybe I'll have to give it a go sometime. Now, uh, there is a knack to it, isn't there, apparently, to get it to spin. So you get, uh, like, how do you do it? It's like, like the yeah, wind, yeah, like opposite, you know, you sort of like twisting backwards and forwards. And yeah, if you get enough momentum going, you actually can get the thing to spin over and over. But I think there is a bit of a knack to it. Right, tell me, what was that like? It's good, but it's okay. it didn't get very it's hard. Get spin. Nah, no, hard no <laughs> spins. What was the bloke saying? I heard him say like, sort of, what, the instructions how, how you know, like a it. world record, something done like a hundred and something called... Six. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's clearly a good technique to it, isn't it? So uh, yeah, a few more practices, I think, before you get that spinning. Right, so uh, what do you think we should hit up next then? I'm thinking big the one. big one again, big one again. I think the big one. Right, we got well lucky because we are right at the front. Should be good at the front, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's intense at the back, but that was a bit rough earlier. Right on the front row, should be good. So we've just this second step off the big one. What did you think? Really, really good at the front. Never been right at the front. And I've got to say, that's probably the best point I've ever had on that. Now it ain't as intense as in like fast. When you go over the top, you're like hanging there waiting for the back end to catch up. So it's not as like fourth or vicious going over. But it was just such a more pleasurable experience. Yeah, it wasn't getting buffeted about. It just felt, yeah much better ride so uh i'll definitely be trying to queue up for the front next time so what we're going to do next is go on another ride that i've never been on yeah and that is this and that is a steeplechase basically you go on um like a horse yes. on a horse isn't it yeah so as we can see just there so you sit on a horse like that and yeah go around on a track can't wait to ride it See if you look, everyone is smiling. Must be good. Oh, what can I say about steeple? That's a good laugh, isn't it? Now it ain't the most intense, right? That said, it's what it's it sort of whips you quite harsh around the corners and all that. It's a bit hard on the hips, but I was just laughing my head off the whole way around. I thought that was hilarious. Not ever going on it before. I didn't know what I expect. But yeah, that's a good fun ride. Like I said, not the most thrilling, but a really good laugh. I'd recommend it. So the time has come to go on probably the wettest ride I have ever been on in my life. I think you'd agree with that, wouldn't you? And that is Valhalla. So uh, we've just been back to the car and we've picked up a few essentials because yesterday we went to Primark and uh, picked up some well, flip-flops view for a quid, a set of sliders for me because that's what we want to do is ruin our trainers, honest to God, you get that wet. So uh, we're all prepared. Our clothes are probably going to be dripping, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go for a walk along the seafront afterwards and hopefully dry off. So anyway, let's head on over and get us soaking. So as you can see, people are coming off over there, absolutely drenched. Bit of a queue going on. Yeah, again, so people are there soaking wet. This is going to be a right laugh. So I don't know what we're going to do with our uh, electricals because obviously I've got my camera. 
I've got my gimbal with me. Fingers crossed, if we have to take them on the ride, I can put them in a uh, carrier bag and they're actually gonna stay dry. Now we're just about to go through. We didn't think they'd done speedy pass, but it says it there. And sure enough, there we go, nine minutes. And that, as you can see, is a massive queue there. So yeah, those speedy passes are really gonna pay off. So have you pressed on it? There we go, and the countdown begins. Right, so we're walking down the queue line now for this. This is gonna be absolutely mental. Right, so we're now in the ride station and they've done a real good job in there, haven't they? It looks really nice. All the lighting and that looks absolutely amazing. Now this is just an indication of how wet this ride is. They've got a massive industrial like vacuum stroke pump which you have to put in the boats to suck all the water out of them. That is how bad it is. The lady's there with a massive pipe there. They're sucking the water out of there. You can see how much is actually in the bottom of that. It is absolutely practice. So it's been like about a minute, two minutes, and the woman's still trying to suck the water out of that boat. Yeah, that bloke's a little bit wet, I'd say. <laughs> My God, what can I say? We are dripping. So like, yeah, just uh, a little bit wet there, isn't it, mate? Look at that. Oh, no. It is like, well, you've got your poncho on. She had a poncho on with a hood and her hair. It's dripping. I mean, it's just, well, yeah, just all stuck to me. Fair play, if, you know, if, if you want a water ride, it's a water ride. You don't get much better than that. I mean, it's really good, isn't it? You know, put aside how wet you get, it's an amazing ride. To be fair, I was worried when they done the upgrades that it would, wouldn't be very good. But yeah, really, really good. Flame effects at the end, spectacular. A massive burst of flames out. Real flames, you know, not any fake effect stuff. There wasn't fake flames at the start, but I thought it was really good. Now, you know, there were some like, people saying that when they done the um, sort of before they actually officially opened it, they let you know, certain people go on the ride. They weren't waiting very high, were they? But now it's all been properly finished. Everything's running on it. Yeah, ten out of ten, solid ride. Well, there you have it, then, guys. Now, as you can see, we're actually back home in the living room. Unfortunately, the battery went flat on my phone. Plus, we got drenched on Valhalla, so probably a more comfortable environment to do the outro in. So, thoughts on the day? What did you think of it overall? Good, yeah. yeah, it was a good day. Start of it was a bit pants when we got booted off the back row on Icon. Then we had that issue with the signage, which could have been better. But after that, it seemed to all go well. Ride of the day? Probably Valhalla. Valhalla, yeah. gotta be. That was good, wasn't it? Fair play. The renovation work they've done on that is top notch. It was a really, really good ride. And shout out's got to go out to that meal that we had as yeah. well in that restaurant. That was spot on. Tasted really good. Wicked price. Yeah, highly recommend it. Now, following on from this, we did go to Alton Towers. We haven't done a full on vlog there, but we have got a great video, which I would urge you to go and check out, which should go up very soon, where lightning hit Alton Towers and knocked out all the rides, which uh, was pretty yeah. mental. And uh, a rescue uh, mission was going on to rescue people from, um, what was it, Oblivion, wasn't it? So yeah, go and check that out. Anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, do us a favor and give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't, and hopefully catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.